Hello everyone, I'm Sonny. I want to welcome you to Sonny's Piano TV Show featuring the Winter Free Piano Contest. And today is the award ceremony. We're going to be giving the pianos away to the four winners of our June and July 2012 Winter Piano Contest on Facebook. And first place prize goes to James Nyin. And this is a Albert Weber upright piano. And this is brand new out of the box. And these are very special pianos. They're very similar, in my opinion, to Steinway's. And they actually have a Renner action in here. And Renner hammers, uh, just like the Bosendorfers and the Becksteins and the Steinway's that are made in Hamburg, Germany. So this piano is a very well-kept secret. But this plays like a Steinway, in my opinion. And it's just brand new. And this is Rosewood. So it's uh, very beautiful, has a nice inlay, and these Albert Weber pianos are just great. And we're very fortunate to be able to carry a line of these, and uh, this one, mm -mm, I just love the way it sounds and plays, and I think James is going to uh, uh, agree when he gets this very shortly. So we're going to be speaking to James today via Skype, and he's going to give us some uh, feedback about how he got into the contest and, and mobilized all the votes that he did. And second place is this Steef Baby Grand Piano. And this is a uh, handcrafted American piano. And this is going to Delini Ranawira. And she came in second. And uh, this was rebuilt and refinished. And these handcrafted American pianos, we specialize in these uh, here at Sonny's. And they have just tremendous tone and tremendous lifespan, and they uh, just really respond, uh, and they just look beautiful too. So this is uh, the second place that's going to Delaney Ranarira, and uh, this is the third place prize. It's a Wurlitzer uh, upright piano, very pretty, nice uh, furniture piece, and very low mileage on it. I think it's about seven or eight years old, and it's just like new, and this has got a very, very snappy action, and this is going to Samantha Cermak, and she just mobilized her base and her community, and she came in third. It's a great piano, and going to a great piano player. And fourth place is going to uh, Joe Roberts, and Joe uh, is actually here from in Brooklyn on uh, New York, and he is going to get the Hardman Upright Piano. And uh, all these folks had great videos and great music, as did all the people that uploaded. Uh, last year's contest, we drew uh, a quarter of a million friends of fans on Facebook. But this contest just went right through the roof. We got 1.5 million friends of fans. So in a way, this contest went viral. And uh, we couldn't be happier. Each and every one of the videos was very unique and very special, and that's what we wanted to do with this contest, is to show how piano playing is a very wide spectrum, it's a big umbrella, lots of different styles of playing, and lots of different types, and everyone can play the piano. It's healthy, it's healing, it's wonderful, it brings people together, and that's what happened here. We brought together 1.5 million people, and uh, it's a community of piano players and musicians, and it's very social. So we're going to enjoy ourselves now and just speak to the uh, people who uh, won these prizes uh, via Skype and then also via the telephone. So here we go. Stay tuned, and uh, we're going to have a great show today.
Hey, James. How are you? Okay. I'm just uh, noodling around on your uh, Albert Weber uh, upright piano. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> soon to be, uh, soon to be in California, right? That's where you're. Uh, you're, you're from California. Yeah, I'm from California. So, uh, so around the San Francisco area. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so we spoke a little bit uh, yesterday, but. Uh, just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, um, how did you hear about the contest? Um, I was actually part of your group last year, and uh, I was going to enter. Okay. But I didn't really have any good videos on myself playing, so I decided to just like vote. And then um, when you did it again this year, I had a good video for me to share, so I I just signed up and then I won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was great. You got in there uh, right from the get go, and. Uh, so what, what made you uh, choose that particular uh, piece? That was uh, 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 like a very new age piece. Uh, I think it was from a movie theme or something. Yeah, it's from a movie called um, Amelie or Amelie. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, I chose that song because uh, I've heard it back in high school. And then recently, uh, before the music competition that I entered in, um, I heard it again, and, uh, and then I was kind of thinking, like, I, I have to learn this song because I've always heard it, but, but I never attempted to try and learn it. And it was a, it was a good song, so I was like, um, this is probably like one of the songs that, that will surprise people. So I just, I took my time to learn it, and then I tried to get really good at it, you know. So then I just chose that song just because of the beauty of it. Yeah, and you, you achieved it. it. It really flowed out of you. It was very feeling and very sensitive. A lot of comments about how, how feeling that, that piece was. But, uh, and, uh, so, and then uh, you mobilized a lot of folks to, to vote for you. You, got, you broke the, uh, the record. Last year, the, uh, the uh, folks that came in first and second. I'm pretty happy that I beat the record. <laughs> they, came, they had uh, about uh, 2,600, and you, you uh, went over 600 more. You had over 3,300 uh, votes. That, that, that was great. That was amazing. So uh, got, you got, uh, I guess, you got a few friends and uh, family out there that was uh, that was pulling oh, yeah. for you. Huh? I got a lot of support from my from my friends and family. Yeah, I, I was pretty surprised myself. <laughs> Did they? So every so kind of like this the thing with Facebook is, I guess, friends reach out to friends, reach out to friends, and it just yeah, like starts to snowball. Exactly what happened in my situation. Because what I did was that um, um, I created a Facebook event and I, and I added all of my friends. And then my friend and family heard about it, and then they invited their friends. So I started off with about um, 498 um, invites that of my friends, and it escalated to 4,116 people. And I was really surprised. I was like, wow. Wow. People. Yeah, right now. That, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, did, did they get the idea that they could vote twice a day? Because that we some people got that and some people didn't. Once on Facebook, yeah, once on our page. In the beginning, they were kind of confused because everyone thought you just vote once and then that was it. And then I tried to make it as clear as possible right. that you vote twice a day until June 12th. You know, I tried to get that as, as clear as possible. And at some point, they all kind of got it, you know? Yeah. Well, you know what it is. It's all. It's new technology. It's a new program. Uh, we just had the uh, app made uh, last year, so we're still working the bugs out on it. And uh, you know, so uh, this was an idea that we came up with to give people the opportunity to collect more than one vote a day to get two votes. And but it eventually it seemed that everybody got into it. Also, there was a little misunderstanding as to whether the contest went for four weeks or five weeks. It was four weeks to upload, and then we get, gave everybody one more week to just vote but not upload so that, you know, those that came in later would still have a chance. But uh, you pretty much led right from the, uh, right from the, uh, the, the starting line, so, uh, yeah. And um, so music, you're, uh, you're going to pursue music as a career, as a sideline, or, uh, uh, you know, how, is this something that uh, is it in the future? Is this something more for you and your friends? Or? Um, mainly it's, it's mainly for me and for my audience, basically, because I don't have a piano at home for me to practice on. And, um, not yet, not, but now you will. Play, play, um, play on piano is when I'm at school, because at my school we have um, piano practice rooms, and then I go there during my uh, spare time after my classes at my college, and then I can only spend so much time there, you know, and then so that's why I really want my own, so I could practice and play better and be able to perform more and better songs for my audience, yep. wherever I am. Yeah. 
So do you, do you play out uh, in, in like restaurants or cafes at, at all? Um, like, it's kind of like whenever I see a piano somewhere, I just want to jump on it and play on it, you know? So if like, I'm in like a cafe or a hotel, I'll play on the piano, you know? Like, I don't care if you, if you say no, you know? I'm going to play on it, you know? Because it's, everyone likes hearing piano music, you know? It's soothing, if it sounds nice, it feels yeah. good, you know? So I just, I just jump on it. Yeah. <laughs> Spoken like a true piano player. And uh, but now now you will have a piano at home. So uh, if uh, if that's that's what, what you accomplished uh, by just playing here and there, we'll we'll, we'll look forward to seeing uh, uh, where where you, where you go with it because uh, this is a very nice piano. It's, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah. I'm real happy you're going to get this. And then uh, just um, there was a a sidebar with uh, your your uh, video. Where you uh, actually uh, just uh, you wore you wore a red cap and you wore it backwards and uh, you know everybody wears whatever they want today you know it doesn't seem to be any kind of uh, uh, a thing but it seemed like some people uh, didn't agree with the fact that you wore the clothing you wore like you were supposed to come out in, in tuxedo and tails and uh, we got some we got, uh, some comments on that that uh, I didn't quite understand. Uh, you know, you you were you you were, you were making a statement uh, with that. Um, well, like when I came out to so so in that video, I was at a music talent show at my school, and um, I just wanted to go there and express myself because, however I dress in that video, that's how I dress normally. You know, I I always wear a baseball cap. I, I love the color red. I just wear the colors of, like colors and clothes that I'm comfortable with. And then at the competition, everyone there was dressed for their part. Like everyone had their dress shirt on, a dress on. So I, I um, individualized myself. I, I made myself stand out. Like, like I'm not gonna be like too formal with this. Cause I'm just gonna be myself. So I wore what people would see me wear when I'm on the street or something, you know. And then basically that was just me saying that here's me, you know. Like I'm, I'm just some guy playing piano for you guys. I'm not professional i'm not classically trained or anything i'm just some guy who really enjoys playing piano you know so here i am enjoying my music that 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 was basically my message was that um you can't judge anyone based on their look because when i walked out i'm pretty sure everyone was kind of like oh look, who who is this guy who's gonna play some some silly song you know and at the beginning i did play a silly song i played axel f for fun and you know i had that part where i flipped over the music <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's actually a bit I got from one of my heroes, Victor Bourget. That's one of his, his acts that I did, and I love that guy, you know. Yeah. Me, rest in peace. I love Victor Bourget, hilarious pianist and, and, and a comedian. So I just want to show that, like, like I kind of flipped the script on them, you know. I, I, I tricked them with my image and the song. Yeah. And I played a very emotional song. Yeah, that yeah. kind of, like, surprised them. You know? Yeah. Well, uh, the, the nature of creativity in art is to... Be true to yourself and to express what you have to say that's unique and not necessarily be copying other people. And uh, so, you know, I, I think that's, you, 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 that's it. that was a, a, you know, the statement and that, uh, I think that got across to a lot of people. I think people really appreciated that, to see that, that you don't have to be uh, classically trained. You don't have to be wearing uh, a tails and a tuxedo. And, uh, and, and Victor Borges is one of my, my heroes, too. Because he's he's somebody that would, uh, uh, got a hold of the piano and just did what people didn't expect. Even though he came out in the, in the tuxedo and tails, he was always surprising audiences with uh, playing uh, seriously, then playing humorously, and he was he was one of the great ones. So uh, we have a, we have that in common, uh, Victor Borgia. I, I just recently ordered his uh, his like uh, eight set. Uh, from uh, a tape series of all his shows uh, from uh, Channel 13. I, they, I'll share some. I'll send some out to you. Hours of laughter. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's something else. But uh, so, so um, how, oh, and one, one other thing. You, uh, how, did you, how did you start playing? Did you do formal lessons or you just picked it up? Um, well, ever since I was a kid in elementary, I always wanted to pick up some instrument. And I hit the violin, saxophone, piano, but n none of the instruments really caught my eye more than the piano. The piano was like the most interesting instrument that I've seen. And like, I've, I, I've always heard piano music. The first piano piece that I've heard, to my recollection, is Free Release by Beethoven. And um, 
like when when you see music sheets, it's incredibly intimidating because you see a bunch of dots, a bunch of lines, and you're like, how am I ever gonna learn that? You know. It wasn't until my uh, my freshman year in high school when I heard the song "Canon" by by Johan Pachtebo. Uh huh. That kind of made me like snap. Like I have to learn that song, but um, I didn't really push myself yet until my sophomore year in high school when I finally just went and signed up for a piano class. And then ever since uh, 2006, I, I've been playing for roughly six years playing the piano. Uh, I uh, took a piano class, and it was history from there. You know, I I just kept practicing. My teacher, he tried to make me uh, like learn everything properly, but I really wanted to learn canon, so I forced any way I could to learn canon, <laughs> which I eventually did, and I actually performed it for my class because uh, every semester in my class, um, we perform a music piece, and my goal was to play canon for my class, which I didn't do it as well, but, yeah. but th that's why I started playing piano was because of the song canon. And then since, since then, I've just been learning new songs, so you, so, so you, you got, uh, it sounds like you got the basics from the class, and then from there you started just playing the piano and start playing uh, uh, your, own, your own thing, your own style. Is that the... Uh, Basically, yeah. Yeah. I learned how to um, read notes in my piano class and all the other techniques. I kind of learned it from like, my classmates, like the more advanced players, or ask them, like, how, how do you do this, how do you do that, and then you kind of like learn off of them. Yeah. Well... We, you, you, you've you really accomplished a lot in a, sh in a short period of time and without a piano at home and now you're going to have a piano at home so uh, we couldn't be happier that you want it you, you're kind of like a, uh, a, uh, a piano celebrity now uh, you know uh, on Facebook and you've uh, you know you, you know uh, you know like people stopping you in the street yet asking you for your autograph uh, not an autograph but people do recognize me on the street though because here and there someone will go walk up to me and go hey are you the guy who's playing piano? I'm like, yeah. And then, like, they'll say, like, good luck. And I'm like, wow. Wow. Like, <laughs> that's not, that's cool. Well, that, our plan is to continue running these uh, contests and TV shows on Facebook because we feel we've, uh, we've created a community. Our community has been created around this, and we're just responding to it. And we just want to you know, keep doing this and, and giving uh, new artists uh, an opportunity to express themselves and be seen because, you know, that's what the piano is about is just sharing the uh, music and sharing the joy of piano playing. So I just want to thank you and thank you again and uh, wish you all the luck. And we probably have this piano out there to you from Long Island within a couple of weeks and uh, it'll be there. Got to send us a photo of you sitting down and playing this, Absolutely. okay? All right. All right. Thanks so much, James. We'll, we'll be through talking thanks, to you thanks. soon. Take care, man. Hi, I'm Sonny from Sonny'sPiano.TV.com. And if you always wanted to play the piano but didn't want to spend years studying time signatures and learning how to read and do boring drills, well, now you don't have to. I've created a method called Sonny's Piano Yoga, which will have you playing the piano instantly with little or no sheet music. And uh, this method is on this DVD kit, and I have the DVD with eight lessons and also the study materials. We'll teach you the chord method. We'll teach you how to make music, beautiful music within moments. We teach you how to read in here. And we teach you chord patterns and how to improvise. So check it out at Sony'sPlayPianoInstantly.com. You'll be glad you did. Everyone can play the piano. It's healthy, healing, therapeutic, and it's relaxing and enjoyable. So check it out.